but where do you feel like this game was was really lost? Yeah, I mean, my word last night on the post game show uh, presented by our friends at the law offices of Amanda J. Gentry was the margins, right? Like the Titans lost that game in the margins, but that's kind of a cop out answer for this specific question. I think they lost it because they failed at situational football on both sides of the ball. And I think that's something that I know every football team at a, you know, I don't, I haven't been around high school football in a long time, but I would guess that in high school football, you're coaching up more situational football stuff these days than back when I was playing or covering high school football. But I know in college and and especially at Titans practices, they are, all about situations in, in every situation and making sure players are prepared. And they lost that game in situations, whether it was the third and longs that you got on defense and then you allowed Kenny Pickett and the Steelers to pick it up. They lost the game in situations where the margin of error is thin in the red zone. Both teams, Sam, had two trip or four trips to the red zone the Steelers score two touchdowns, kick two field goals. The Titans score one touchdown, kick three field goals. And so, yeah, Connor says to clarify, I mean, coaching. I mean, yes, I, I, I want to say losing something situational more. situational football is usually a reflection of the coaching staff. Yeah, but yes, but it's also a part of execution. And so I just didn't want to say coaching because I think yeah. that, you know, you guys on the comments, like coaching is a great answer for y'all because y'all don't have the ability to, explain and dive deeper into what your thoughts are because you're commenting when I'm up here saying, I want to be able to go a little bit more nuanced. And I think the Titans lost the game because they lost situations uh, that on both sides of the football. And uh, you know, and also like, you know, the Titans don't have great special teams. That's also special teams or situational football. They got a field goal kicker and they got a great punter, but too many penalties on special teams too. They give up some field position and made things harder. Um, but you know, situational football is why the Titans lost that game last night. So, uh, I'm going to go a different direction. I'm going to go a little bit more direct, um, and a little bit more decisive. And you're saying wild. I'm indecisive. Uh huh. Are you saying my answer was indecisive? Kind of. I mean, I think, I think your answer is true, but I do think it does straddle a fence a little bit of like, How is it gonna, straddling a fence? You're not, but you're like, I'm not going to blame the offense or the defense. You're just no, blaming I'm, the I'm, the no, whole I'm, thing. I'm including, I'm not, I'm including everything. I'm including. Well, right. But that's like, I mean, it, that, but know, like the, the, the Titans the football game. How about clearly... this stat? How about this stat, Sam? The Pittsburgh Steelers are the first team in the Super Bowl era to be five and three, but be outgained in yards in all eight games. That's, this season. That is Isn't nuts. Stat. Like, because the, t- the Tennessee Titans gained yards. They moved the football. They made plays on the, in the run game, in the pass game. They put the Steelers defense in positions to commit penalties. But when they got in situations, they couldn't either get off the field, keep the Steelers out of the end zone or get to the end zone themselves. And that's Mike Tomlin though. And that, yeah. and like, and that's where I would say, like, I think your answer leans a little bit coaching. I I tend to... It is, it is coaching. I just wanted to get more detailed with it. So I'm not being indecisive. I'm yeah. just being more detailed, I think. Um. So, yeah, my answer is a little bit more direct, I would say. like I'm, That's I'm, fine. I'm particularly going to point at one particular group. And surprisingly, it is not the offensive line who got dominated. And the only reason it's not the offensive line to me is because this was almost expected. And I do think Will Levis overcame uh, some of the hardship created by the offensive line. And there were some injuries and some things going around. I look at this defensive line as the number one reason why the Titans lost this game, because there is absolutely zero excuse for what we saw yesterday, Austin, zero sacks of Kenny Pickett, very few pressures of Kenny Pickett. They created zero turnovers. I don't remember them drawing a single holding call on the Steelers offensive line. I saw some that could have been called, probably should have been called, but yeah. That group was literally non-existent. And you've paid Big Jeff and Harold Landry and Arden Key and Danico Autry, and you've invested resources. And where are they? 